Um, hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to create a grab pack for Jiving Game. Alright, so first go on to your internet browser, go to Jibin, and go to Customs so we can find the Make Jibin Revive project. Go down and right here. Download 3DS, 3DS Max 8, uploaded by Sarcastic Madman. And once you have that downloaded, then we want to upload Pipeline onto it so we can export everything to B3D. So go back to Jibin Tutorials, scroll down to um, how to make your own grab pack with 3ds max by ski maxi so first so open up this first link uh, onigirl.com pipeline and he says first unzip this pack b3d extensions right here b3d extensions Let's download it right here b3d extensions and you want to export, extract all of those into your Autodesk 3, 3ds Max folder. So it should be for me. It's in C, Program Files, 3ds Max, uh, Program Files, 3 Autodesk, 3ds Max. And then right here, export them right into your 3ds Max main folder. Then you have to extract the B3D pipeline, which is right here, the B3D pipeline, into your main folder again. So do the same thing. And the third time, right here, the max six patch. Export that into the same folder, the 3D, or no, wait, you have to upload that into your 3DS Max plugin folder, which is just right, one of the folders right off there. Alright, now once you have all of that, you should be able to open up 3DS Max with no errors. It should just come up like this. Alright, now if you're this far, you are set. Now, for the second part, go to Jibin Customs, and right here, mm, grab pack max file, download this, and then once you have that, open it up with your 3ds Max 8 with pipeline, and you should come up with this. Now, all of these you don't need to worry about. It should should work out. It works out for me at least and just click continue so first thing you have to do you don't do anything you have to go into file save as pick where you wherever you want to save it I just made my own folder and name it whatever you want to name it 3ds max file save and now next you have to go to file export and if you uploaded B3D correctly, then this should work. Now go to that same folder, or you could go to your grab pack folders or wherever you want to put this in and name it cross dot in six dot B3D. Oh wait, no, not cross dot cross underscore in six and save as blitz 3D file and make sure you're exporting not saving and make sure every check mark is checked mine were like that so then just check them up and export wait for that to go and then after this we get to make the grabs and the the max file is 
preset as the Steez 3 pack. The grab pack. And just wait for this. And then what you want to do after this is um go to wherever you exported the file, the B3D, and copy and paste it into your driven folder as the grab pack. And if if your grab pack is changed to Steez 3, alright, and then just click OK. If your grab pack was saved, just go copy it and go paste in your driven folder. And let's test it out. If your gra if your grab pack is Steez 3.0, then it worked. So yep, just normal Steez pack. Everything's working out. All right. So now go back in. You don't need to exit. And now we are going to show you how to edit the grabs. So first thing, go here right over here and click on this wheel next go down over here and click on to auto key toggle auto key mode and I don't even know what that does but that's what you have to do now the way these packs are set is it's a frame rate so if you go here it no, play it'll play through every animation set and so when you find the grab that you want you go to that set of frames and you can change the frames. See there's the mute, the Japan, and these are all the frames. So the first frame is the ZX frame, the fill. And as you see as you keep clicking the frames, it changes. And so you edit each frame and as it goes, it will change the grab. So just some basic things. If you hold down the middle button, the the scroll wheel button, and click it down, you can move the character. If you hold down Alt and the middle button, you can rotate rotate the character. But make sure you hold down the the scroll wheel button and then click Alt to rotate. Otherwise, if you if you do it, it'll go like this. If you hold down Alt first, and then you, <laughs> I've lost my guy and I can't find him and I'll have to restart on the grab pack. So hold down the the scroll wheel first and then rotate and so pretty much as these frames go you can click on what you want and here's some just tips here's here's rotate to rotate what you want and then here's the move button so watch i can rotate this and i can rotate this other ski like this now watch now to redo your map you just make sure you save it so when you want to reopen it you can do that and keep editing because after you test and then take the same file right where you exported it and re-export it and yes we want to replace it have everything checked and then export it and then whenever you do that ZX grab the fill it should be this grab now, not the other, the tail grab. Let's wait for this to upload. Waiting, and I mean, and then just OK. Come back down. Copy and paste it back into your Jibin folder. And let's test it. Let's, uh, let's go to. Let's go to, um, this level. Alright. Now, see, I have all the regular grabs because it's it's still all the same keyframes. I didn't change anything. Now let's go to that jump over there and test this out. Mm 